In this lesson, we're going to begin discussing the Pages panel. To make sure that what's on your screen looks the same as what's on my screen, go to your workspace and make sure that you have Typography selected in the Workspace pop-up. And also, if you've altered the Typography workspace, make sure to reset Typography. We're going to start by opening a brand new document. So go to File, New, Document. And in the dialog window, we're going to use pretty much the defaults and make some minor changes. For number of pages, instead of one, why don't we make it four? We are going to use facing pages. So we will have spreads with both a left and a right page. The start number is fine at one. The page size is fine at letter size, which is the default. And the only other thing we have to do is add some bleed. If bleed is not showing down the bottom of your new document window, hit the disclosure arrow and that will reveal the bleed and slug fields. Select the bleed top field and type in 0.125. IN for inches, and then just click in the next field. Because all the fields are locked together, it will make the bleed the same all the way around. Now, all we have to do is hit OK. Why don't we open the Pages panel and just see what's in there? And you can see that there is a page 1 sitting by itself, a page 2 and 3, which are next to each other in a spread and then page four. All of your odd pages are to the right of the gutter, which is the center line. That is the fold. And all of your even pages are to the left of the gutter. My first question is, what's going on at the top of this panel? That's where your master pages are. And we'll talk a lot more about master pages, not only in this lesson, but in upcoming lessons. At the bottom of the panel, underneath this dividing line, I have my document pages. And I can make more room for my masters just by clicking and dragging from that dividing line. I can also change the size of my panel just by going to the side and making it narrower, or down the bottom, clicking and dragging, making it taller. My first question is, how do I add pages? Well, there is this icon down the bottom that kind of looks like a page with a turned up corner. That's the Create New Page icon. If I click on that, I have a page 5. And you can see it is to the right of page 4 in a spread. I wonder if there's any other ways to add pages. I want to get to some options, so maybe I can add multiple pages in my document. Well, anytime you want to get to options or alternatives, hold down your option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and then try clicking on that page icon. And you get to your Insert Pages options. And it wants to know how many pages I want to add. Why don't we add two more pages? Where do we want to insert those pages? I can choose After, a certain page, before a certain page, at the start of the document, or at the end of the document. I'm going to leave it after, but I'm going to change the page number to the last page, which is page 5. And it's going to apply an A master to each one of those pages. Let me click OK, and you can see it now added a page 6 and 7. Well, I wonder if there's any other ways to get to that dialog window. Well, if I go to the upper right-hand corner of my Pages panel, you can see that there's a downturned arrow with what looks like tire treads right next to it. If I click on that button, I get the Pages panel options menu. And you can see that the very first choice is Insert Pages. And I get that same dialog box. Maybe what I want to do is add two more pages. Let's do that. 
pages two, after page, how about page seven? So I'm going to end up with a total of nine pages that have a master applied to it, and I'm just going to click OK. I could actually just click on one of the pages for my A master and drag it down here and let go. And you can see it added a single page. I can also add blank pages if I want, just by clicking on none and dragging that down to where I want the pages inserted in my document layout section. And now I have 12 pages and the last two pages are actually blank. You can see it added a page 11, which is blank. There is no A on it, like there is on the other document pages. So anything with an A in one of its corners is going to follow whatever is in a master. Whenever I insert a none master page, it's going to be a blank page that doesn't follow any master. We're going to continue discussing the pages panel in the next lesson.